Da -na 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 -na. A thrilling work of fiction and a fun read or a frightening prediction of our future. I'm Molly Murray. We open up today's show with an analysis. Is the best-selling book, Ready Player One, actually real enough for us to worry about its plot? Ready Player One opens up to Wade Watts in the year 2045, where the world is a scary place. Orphaned as a child, he lives with his abrasive aunt and her boyfriend. He lives in a trailer and does not have many friends. Seemingly, the only escape for him is in the virtual reality world of the Oasis. The Oasis, created by James Halliday, is a super futuristic world built into its headset. It allows the user to be whatever he or she wants him to be. In the Oasis is where we meet the main cast. H, Wade's best friend, Artemis, internet blogger, and Daito and Shoujo, the Japanese brothers. In the real world, he's Wade Watts, a nerdy, unpopular kid. But in the Oasis, he's Parzival, national superstar battling against the evil Nolan Sorrento and the corrupt corporation, the IOI. Why is he a superstar? Because he's in the lead at finding James Halliday's egg. The egg hunt is created by James, James Halliday, and the prize is all of his inheritance. When Sorrento takes it a step too far by attempting to murder Wade, he realizes that he must step into action and beat the IOI in the egg hunt. This is a thrilling adventure and a must-read book. But could this be real? Could the world fall so far into pollution and war that the only escape is in a virtual reality in only 27 years? Let's look at some of the aspects of Wade's world and compare them to ours. Wade used to go to school and applied Wade used to go to school in the real world, where he was continuously made fun of. He hated that school and applied to go to school in the Oasis, where he got accepted. Wade never had any friends in the real world, but in the Oasis school, he made himself a few. Every, he, even though he's never seen any of them in the real world, he loves them more than he did anyone in reality. In 2018, we go to school normally, and we know everyone in person rather than through technology. Wade lives in something called the Stacks, where instead of all the trailers being on the flat ground, round, they stack them on top of each other to save space and to prevent the entire population to go homeless. Back in time, in present time, we live in houses in neighborhoods and we don't need to do anything that drastic because we don't have any massive problems with space or overpopulation. Finally, Wade has, fo has food that no one in this time would ever even consider putting into their mouths. There's been so much of a decline in fresh and healthy foods that to mimic these foods, people have to use artificial ingredients like soy bacon or powdered eggs. Today, we have a range of delicious foods that are also healthy. So is this the actual future of our world? Even though this is a very fictional book, there's a possibility that this is how people will live in 2045. That is a very chilling thought. But while we think, let's take a commercial break. As you can see, here is the book Ready Player One. This is a picture of Wade Watts. This, these are pictures of the Oasis. Here is H's avatar, Artemis's avatar, and Daito and Shoto's avatar. Here is Wade and then Parizaval. This is Nolan and the IOI. And this is the egg. Here's war and pollution. This is Wade's school versus our school. Where Wade lives versus where I live. And what Wade eats versus what we eat. Are you interested in a new book because you just finished your book and now you're really sad? Well, we have the solution. Ready Player One, written by Ernest Cline, might just be for you. <laughs> do you love being bored out of your mind and have nothing to do? Well, good for you. The only problem is, this book might not be for you. But if you're into action, technology, or even some romance... I think it's time for you to pick up Ready Player One. Hello there, my name is Molly Murray, and I think I found my new favorite book. Ready Player One, starring Wade Watts, has all that you could ever ask for. It has a gripping plot, amazing complex characters, and a great villain. 
I couldn't help but get sucked into the world of Ready Player One, and I think you will too. I'm sorry to say it, but I think that's all the time that we have for today. Remember, I'm Molly Murray, and I'll see you at school.